Today, I'm going to talk about Descara Bookkeeping. So let's go sign in. To sign in, we're going to erp.descara.com. Inside here, you'll put your email, your password, and you'll sign in. Don't have an account? Sign up now. Click this link, and then you'll have, are you a bookkeeper? Sign up for Descara Bookkeeper. So click this. Put in your email address. Input your phone number. Create account. Put in your name, put in your password, your company name. Agree to the terms of use and the privacy policy. Click next. Fill in the information, skip. And then please verify your email address. So an email will be sent to your email address and you just click the link to verify. And let's go back and let's sign in. I have now logged into Descara Books and we are now at the dashboard. On the left-hand side, you can see client and team. Let's go to client. Inside here, you can see user, email, contact, and status. You can click add client, or you can drill down to a client itself. So let's add a client. So inside here, you put in your first name, last name, email address, phone number. You can click add organization. You can put in the organization name. You can put in the financial start date, book beginning date, which is like your go live date. Any date before this would be considered opening and any date after that would be actual transactions. Your currency, you can enable multi-currency, your address, your time zone, your GST number, your UEN number, and you can opt in for e-invoicing. Also, you'll notice on the left-hand side, the green check boxes that show you've completed it correctly. And then you can save. Once saved, we can go next. And this is allow team access. So which team members have access to this? So for example, I'm selecting Sanjay, but I can select Terrence, Adrian, and Harish as well. It's up to you. Next, you can see subscription details. So this is in case that they need more users. So for example, startup, you have three users, five users, 10 users. And also feel free to contact Descara about this pricing. We also have monthly and yearly, and then you can check out. Now you can see my test test users here. I just click on it. I can update the information accordingly. I can update the team members access accordingly as well, which team members have access. Now let's go to team. Inside here, I can see my different team members. So here's users, email address, contacts, and status. Let's add a new teammate to this group. Oosh, okay, let's add the first name. Let's add the next name, Lynn. email address. You can add in the phone number. You click next. Now, very importantly, you're going to add in the role into Scare Books. So, for example, accounting, admin, auditor, or business. Let's just select accounting. And most importantly, client management. This is for him to manage his clients. Are you giving him admin access to the user to add, edit, and deactivate clients? So, if you give him access, then he has that ability. If not, then he doesn't. Then you click next, and then you attach him to which type of clients you want to give him access to. For example, I want to give him access to David Lim's client and Johnny Button's client, and I can save. After that, I can click on Descara Books, and I can see my company, and I can see my clients. I can click on my client, and then inside here, I can see if there's any transactions they've created. Any sell, buy, products, warehouse, contacts, reports, banking. So under reports, I can see the profit and loss balance sheet, cash flow, general ledger, trial balance statement accounts, GST form five, the IRAS. So this just helps me be able to manage my clients accordingly. And that was a quick look at Descara Bookkeeping. Trust this can help your business. Feel free to contact us. Keep well and stay safe.